I had to start with this one because it's the season. Vault of Horror 35, classic uh, Johnny Craig cover. This is a CGC 5.5, a really nice presenting one. Um, $1,500, uh, but there's 130 on the census, not a ton. Um, in 2020, there have been three sales. One was 680, one was 780, and this one's 1450. My gut is that somebody's selling on the right season, kind of like when you sell pre-code horror in October, you're going to do a little better. When you sell Christmas covers in December, you're going to do a little better. Uh, but that's a surprisingly high sale. Could be that it presents really well. Um, if you look in 2018, the sale was 771. Uh, so that was, you know, it's been a steady book, and then all of a sudden there's a big ass jump. So I think that's a holiday jump. All right, this other one I only threw in because we were talking about nine nines the other day, and this one hit. Ooh, uh, wow. If you've been in flipping comics for a while, this book, um, when it came out, was a big boy book. Selling like crazy. It was a Turner cover uh, by Aspen, and Aspen did a couple of late Turner covers. Um, this book somehow hit a lot of tens. There were five tens on the census. Wow. Uh, and a decent number of nine nines. Um, five, five tens, 27 nine nines, and 94 nine eights. So wow. they really screwed up the upper grades. There have been no 10s on GPA since 2017. At that time, it was between 900 and 675. So it really actually has went down, um, but it hadn't sold in a while. A 9.8 is going to go for about 30 bucks, and a 9.9 you can get for under 100. So interesting. It's just interesting, this 10 and 9.9 phenomenon. Next book. This one I, truly just caught my eye because I, I hadn't seen one sell in a minute. Uh, Champions, we talked about the Invaders the other day as the, the kind of uh, Bronze Age teams. So this is kind of the other one there. There's 110 nine eights. Uh, the 2020 average has been six sales, uh, anywhere from 404 to 594. So this is actually on the low end. In 2019, the average was just under 600, but in 2018, it was 300. So uh, there was a little bit of, of a peak in 2019. And it's coming back down. I'm not really sure why if just the spec cycle was, hey, at some point somebody put out some news that these characters are going to be going, or um, I, I don't remember. I remember hearing the champion's name for a minute, and I think whatever that theory was has died out. I don't love collecting the Bronze Age teams, but, you know, the right day, the right executive choosing to name something the right way, you're going to win. Well, with all the uh, interest in the new iteration of the champions with Kamala Khan and Miles and <coughs> that um, next generation of Marvel superheroes, um, it, it's interesting to see a, a little bit of heat back on the original title. Um, that's a book that I don't see a lot in uh, long boxes. Um, didn't know that it would command that much. Uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. Another uh, another Bronze Age book here. New Gods. Wow. That, that was probably a good, yeah, that was probably a good buy. This one actually blew my way because I, I don't think I've seen a 9.8 in a long time. Uh, I apparently was wrong. There's 54 of them. In 2020, there have been five sales. Mm. It's not caught my eye, but, you know, sometimes you just miss it. Uh, anywhere from 1475 to 2325, this is the high. The wow. highest ever was almost 2800 last year, but prior to that, the average was 1500. So it really peaked last year. I don't know if that's maybe when the Snyder Cut got talked about or uh, it would be what news the about the forthcoming New Gods film that um, Tom King uh, is writing a screenplay. Um, it, it apparently is going to focus on Big Barda and Mr. Miracle, but is going to be under the New Gods, uh, you know, moniker and tell Kirby's uh, Fifth World storyline. So I, I think what I was looking at him was back when that stuff happened, and I thought this book would be like three grand by now. Interesting that it sold like for you said fifteen hundred was the low this year, or yeah, lower? but I, I probably in March, man. Everything in March was low. Mm, interesting. This is the uh, the. Famous Joker cover, the the fish guns, and you know, good good cover. Bronze Age, thirty seven nine eights only, not as many as I would expect, but it's a dark cover. Um, there is a Pence copy with only five in the census total, with a nine four being the highest, 
and most of the rest of it being significantly lower. So something to keep your eye out for. Uh, oh, yeah. 2018, this was a $500 book. 2019, 640. 90 day average is 977 with this being the high at over a grand. So congrats on this book just freaking going up with Joker Love. Wow, nice. Uh, this next one, is it truly um, nostalgia driving it that it just hit that right age? Or, or is there some shenanigans and, and price pushing going on? I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to theorize. I'm just going to give you the results and you guys decide. Uh, nine eight, I love it. 167. Wow. There's Canadian price rent with 11. There's also a second and a third print, but just just for clarity, I did research. There are no nine eights for either of the second or third prints on this book. So this is not a deviation in the uh, data. In 2018, there were 21 sales for 223 average. In 2019, there were 30 sales for a 255 average. The 90 day average is 524. 2020, there have been 42 sales. So more sales than either of the other two years, probably more getting graded, uh, with a range of 261 to 1,009. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Uh, Am I this, missing something? All of this happened in the last month, 1210, 405, because most of the sales were four to 500 bucks in the summer. Um, 12, 12, uh, 12, 12, I think, was 620. And then on 12, 28, 750 sale happened, followed by this one for a grand. I, I don't understand it. All this well, happened how about real this? fast. How about this? We have a ton of new comic fans in the community that are probably our age that are instantly hitting the nostalgia factors. And so they're, I'm not they're going, disagreeing. It, this I'm, is not, just, I'm just... I'm not pushing it. I'm just saying well, this could be a reason that we're seeing it. There's That's one a of, huge escalation yeah, real dude, fast. There's one of three explanations, right? Yes. Brian's, which seems to be the least likely to me. Sorry, Brian. I uh, get it. John's, which may or may not be uh, the most probable. Uh, and the third one would be somebody knows something uh, about this thing getting optioned and is just snagging them uh, because that happens too. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But it's just what's wild to me, what I don't understand is you can get a freaking uh, Transformers 1 for under a grand. You can get a, a newsstand G.I. Joe 1 for under a grand or you could, you know, two months ago. I mean, I love Thundercats. I was a, you know, Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats kind of uh, kid when I was little too. But they weren't G.I. Joe or Transformers for the love of God. All right, we talked about Monica, nine eight Canadian price variant twelve fifty. Jesus, Lots of bids. Lord. I'm sorry, I can't read the little number right now, but there was forty 42. some bids. Yeah. Um, just some frame of reference. Nine eights of the standard. There's two hundred and ten of of the Canadian price variants. There's six. Standard nine eight. The last sale was November 29th, which is. Believe it or not, three weeks old, which is a little old on this book, it was only 566, and I'm shocked there have been no sales since then. Um, this is the one and only Canadian price rent that is on GPA in 98. Wow. So there's none been sold in 10 years recorded. Uh, I, I don't know, three weeks ago with the, the standard being close to 600, I'd be willing to bet the standard goes for eight or eight fifty right now, right? If it hit right now, you can pick up. Well, one's up right now for twenty three hundred. The Canadian, yeah. There's two U.S. copies, seven hundred and sixty five dollars for a buy it now. The next one's eleven thirty. Um, threw this one in there because why not talk turtles? We talk every week anymore. But this was one that hit me as interesting. Leonardo one. There's thirty two nine eights. A 9.6 will set you back 260 just for reference. This bad boy went for 570. 14 sales of 9.8s this year, which means close to half of them sold this year. Range of 350 to this high of 571. What I thought was interesting, because I I like to look further back, between 2012 and 2015, there was one sale each year of it 
basically in the high twos to mid threes every year. And then from 15 to 18, there was nothing. And then all of a sudden it kind of many more got graded. I talked to, I pulled this one up only because Nico, I think has talked about it a few times with the Falcon yeah, like or the rumor. Um, I didn't do a lot of data, but nine eights, there's 65 of them. And I'm betting that number's growing quickly. Yeah. Uh, it was trending at 125 to 150. And then there was no sales for a couple weeks. And all of a sudden this one dropped at 230. So picking up steam. Uh, if you got them, grade them. Hey, them back. Buddy George, we only doubled in price. Um, Isaiah Bradley, I think it's a no brainer, but I don't know how high this thing can go. I mean, it's not going to be blue marble sky high. Um, but I do think there'll be an opportunity when Falcon and the Winter Soldier hits. Again, slow burn. Uh, this character, I think, uh, is pseudo confirmed to appear in that series. There'll be an opportunity to move them. I don't know uh, necessarily that buying in at the $230 price tag for a 9.8 is the greatest move because you'd want to be selling it at 460 right? Yeah. Um, and I don't know if she can pop uh, 450 but maybe maybe 450 would be that. There'd be one week to sell it for 450 uh, Yeah, you you're going to get a couple of Everybody sales. else. That's a, that's a big gamble at that price. I, 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 you're better off I like looking the, for the Raws. At ten dollars a pot, right? Yeah, I this one's just here to start a segment. We all know about this fucking book. I crazy money. The nine eight sold for some number I can't comprehend. A raw just sold for some other number I can't comprehend. I'm not gonna poo poo it, but I just wanted to use that as a segment for uh, some other previews that popped up in the market report. Marvel Age Twelve, the early preview of the black costume. I just grabbed one of these. I was happy to find in the wild for nothing. A nine eight for three hundred and five dollars with a few bidders. Um, this one actually has on the label now that it is a uh, oh wow a Spider Man black costume predating two two fifty two concept art. I like. Hey, listen, if they're gonna start tagging it as this, I'll accept this. Right? Yeah, this I is a great. Label. This Dude, is, that's strong as it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Kudos to CGC. And, and then we can start calling these things what they, what are. they are. Thank you. 2018, it was a $165 book. Last year, it went to $350. Uh, this year, it sold 10 books between $330 and $575. So this is actually the lowest sale of the year, which is nuts. Uh, maybe it just got lost in the shuffle. One more preview for you guys. Um Marvel previews 64 featuring uh, Shuri as the Black Panther on the back cover. Um, 230 for a 9.8. There is 198 and 296s with a total of four graded right now. Uh, I have a feeling that's going to change. There's quite a few raws on eBay. Uh, sales have been 70 to 100, but the asking price is 150. <sighs> I don't know what to think about this one. This one feels like there's more copies than you want to happen. I would have not thought anything of it until recent announcements, to be honest. Yeah, I, and it just happens to be back cover, so that's interesting. <laughs> uh, Ultimate Comics 11. This is a Whoa. Italian edition of the Di confused too. Divergec variant. Um, I actually couldn't find this on the census, even looking at the damn label. So I, I don't know how many copies there are. I was just intrigued by a foreign edition. This is the Italian, as I said, showing up for two forty for a nine eight. Um, I don't know if that's a strong sale, a weak sale. It just doesn't happen often, and I just thought it was worth talking about. All right, this next book, I have no freaking clue what it's about. It just blew my head. It's relisted, so it must not have actually sold, but just the fact that it maybe did. Um, Wishes and Rainbow Comic, CGC 9-8, Federal Reserve, Bank of Boston. The only 9-8. I've never seen that book. book. I give up. There is a census of 18, 198, 496 is and a smattering of crap. It is a promo comic by the um, Boston Federal Reserve. Uh, there was a 1981 printing and a 2007 edition with a different cover. I, I researched it a bit and it said there's something about introducing a 
colored flower into a town of no colors to represent scarce resources and trying to understand the value of them. So the giver. Uh, kind of. I, 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 and I can say huh. I have no idea why it's selling for money. Um, so in October, a 9.6 sold for 900 a 90 sold in October as well for 11.20 and a 92 sold in 2008 for 539. A certain app mentions it, which I assume happened sometime in October when these sold, but it had value 2 years ago. So I, you got me. I'm just throwing it out there as if you ever see this weird ass book, you should yeah. probably buy it. It's interesting. Yeah, no, thanks for making me hip to it. And I don't know if you got to be sitting in like a, a Boston local comic shop. Yeah, if you're in Boston, you better be looking. Right? Yeah, I agree. I'll be digging yeah. in dollar bins for that baby. Yeah, if you're, and this I think just goes to show, if you're at a a, a con, if you're at a, a antique store, whatever, whatever you call it, and you see a book that you've never seen before and the price is right for you to just throw a couple bucks at it, it might be worth it because it could be a Wishes and Rainbows <laughs> Whatever, you know. A couple more quick books. Rare Ass LB Cole, Startling Terror 5. Beautiful. That's a nice There's looking cover. 17 in the census. The high is 7.5, 2 blue label, and 2 restored. Only 4 sales on GPA ever. 4. A 6.0 in October for 18.50. A 4.5 in 2019. Um, which I didn't write the price down, and a 4.0 in uh, 2002 for $88. This next book is a personal tragedy. I've seen it listed. I looked at GPA and saw that the last 8.0 sold in August for 10.50, and I thought that's too high. I'm going to wait for him to lower his price. Uh, this is one of one of, <laughs> if not my favorite Captain Marvel cover. It's number Shit. four. Uh, it sold. Uh, there are only six graded higher than the 8Os, so fuck me, 59 in the census. Somebody bought it at 1540 and is very, very happy, and I will never see it again, and I'm going to cry. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, this is a book I just have never actually Dude, observed. I love this book. I've never had one. I've lost auctions on one. Uh, that's a crappy copy, but... Uh, wow, is that a great price to get into a book that never comes up i've never seen this cover this is a rare faucet horror book bob powell cover 21 in census a 94 is the highest probably a file copy of some kind time traveler there is it's pretty much in range with the grade but if you actually look based on the census the same copy sold last year for 458 so somebody lost 50 bucks auctioning it so i'm sorry for them but you can't find it so no. It is an intriguing cover. I've never, every time I see it, it's like two Gs. Two G, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, if you go to and the that's four. Like, that's like once a year it comes up. Well, there's only 20 graded. And if you go to the four, it's up well above a thousand real quick. So uh, the last slide I only include because, you know, I love Frazetta. And we talked about, oh, these, dude, same, we talked about I, these same two books six weeks ago. Maybe seven. I love it, man. Love it. It was the exact same comparison, same books. And I just was intrigued by seeing a different grade range. Uh, so I, four, I like, uh, shame on me for not having these. Of the uh, 211 sold for 785. Um, and the last sale for that book, I pulled up the old data, was in March for 640. So it, it came up a bit, but that's the March dip. Uh, this freaking red planet one, a 3-0 for 12.30.